the hopper in the raised position and a safety prop in on the cylinder, it's time to inspect the auto loop system. Visual check. It's got a maximum fill level line. We want to make sure we aren't filled above that. And obviously, check the minimum to make sure that we aren't below. Is what you should do on occasion is go around the system and pull a different line. Make sure that the system is pumping grease as it's supposed to be. There is a button on the bottom side that is a manual override. It gives you the ability to actually press that button and you should see the canister, uh, the mechanism inside the canister rotate once every three minutes. That should prove that it is pumping grease. The last would be to make sure that the grease is getting to the component. Please check that. Also, while we have the hopper up, it's a good time to take a look around the engine compartment. Let's make sure that internally we don't have any leaking hoses, that all of our filters are on tight, we don't have any dirt or any oil or anything building up around the filters. Just give it a good visual uh, uh, check and make sure that everything is clean without leaks. When inspecting our grease system, some very, very obvious checks to make sure that the system is working correctly would be to take a look at our main broom bearing. We do want to see a little bit of grease coming out of that bearing. Uh, if we don't see any grease coming out there for any reason that's dry, it's probably determined you have an issue with your grease system. Second check that's very simple to see, and this is actually very good for the system, is if you take a look down at your gutter broom motor, we do want to see some grease coming out of that dish. Uh, we even actually preach that when you clean at the end of the day, if you've got some grease buildup, it's not necessary to hit that with high pressure, high flow, and blast all that grease out of the way. We like to see that. That actually helps to protect the system, to keep water out of the system. Uh, that little bit of grease that's on there is good to see. If you don't see any grease, we got a problem starting back at the source. Global sweepers have 11 daily grease points that are crucial to maintain for daily sweeping operation. If the sweeper is equipped with an automatic lubrication system, the operator is still required to inspect that all grease points are receiving lubrication. It is the operator's responsibility to refill the auto lube container when it reaches its minimum level. Since the elevator works hard while sweeping, all four bearings must be greased daily. The pickup room bearing is also considered to be a daily lube point because it is used at all times while sweeping. The auto lube system will pump grease to that bearing as scheduled, however the operator should visually check that this bearing is receiving the grease as required. The gutter broom up and down cylinders include a grease fitting located in the center of the canister. The grease fitting is located on both right and left sides of the sweeper. They must be greased daily so that the gutter broom can raise and lower quickly and float as designed while sweeping. Both gutter brooms are constantly working while sweeping and the operator must assure both bearings are receiving the grease supplied by the auto lube system. This is very important as failure to keep the lube cavity filled with grease can cause motor seal failure and also allow water and dirt to enter the hydraulic system causing contamination. The load wheel located in the hopper rotates on right and left side bearings. Both grease fittings are located on the front right fender and must be greased daily. 50 hour lube points include the pickup room shaft which has grease fittings located on each side of the machine. This shaft allows the main broom to lower easily and float on the ground while sweeping. The main broom arm bearings are also important as they ensure that the main broom stays on the ground and does not shift side to side. These must be greased weekly. If equipped with the auto lube option, please inspect all four grease fittings to make sure they are receiving grease as required. Grease points to lube every 50 hours include the right and left hand pillar bearings for the gutter brooms and the three grease fittings located on top of the dirt shoe assemblies. The yellow dirt shoes are connected to the three Z-bars. The Z-bars include fittings that help the dirt shoes float freely over the ground surface. The three fittings located on the dirt shoe assemblies are not connected to the auto lube system and must be manually greased weekly. Additional 50 hour grease fittings include top and bottom shock lube points, optional in cab gutter broom tilt pivots, front fork top bearing, and the steering cylinder front and rear joints. If the sweeper is equipped with a rear axle in lieu of the wheel motors and torque hubs, please grease the drive shaft every 50 hours or weekly. For all greasing recommendations, 
please review the recommended greasing chart located in the Global Sweeper Service Manual.